So, absolute value. How do you take the derivative over the absolute value? Ugh. Well, couldn't we also rewrite this function as g of x equals 2 minus the square root of x minus 4 squared, which is the absolute value, which is the derivative, and then we could just, or which is the same thing as absolute value, the square root of something squared. We could go ahead and find the derivative of this if we wanted to, but we really don't need to. It really is kind of like a waste of time because, ladies and gentlemen, we should know exactly what this graph looks like just based on transformations. Algebra 2 and precalculus helped us with this. If we just go ahead and rewrite this in our transformations form, we just need to identify what is happening here. When you multiply by negative on the outside, that is just reflecting the x-axis, right? OK, so we have reflect the x-axis. When I'm subtracting a 4 inside of the function, that is shifting to the right 4. And then what I'm adding to on the outside, that's up to. OK, so what does this graph look like again? Well, the parent graph looks like this. So if I reflect it about the x-axis, shift it to four units to the right, and then up to it should look something like this. One, two, three, four, one, two. Don't you guys agree? Now, the derivative is when the derivative is set equal to 0, right? Or the, we could say that the derivative does not. Now, again, when we're looking for the derivative, when it's set equal to 0, what are we looking for? We're looking for horizontal tangents, right? Is this graph going to have a horizontal tangent ever? No. It's never going to have a horizontal tangent. The derivative is not going to set equal to 0 because the derivative does not exist. The derivative here is like 1. Here, it's like negative 1. The derivative does not exist at the point 4. But is that a critical value? Yes, because the derivative does not exist. So we could say the critical value occurs at x equals 4. Remember, the derivative of set equals 0 gives us a horizontal tangent. Corners do not have horizontal tangents.